I answered you. I told you everything I know. The whole city's been turned into a hellhole. And I'm still punching my way for you useless fucking grunts! What's it gonna fucking take? Ichiba! Ichiba! Shut up! I just need to talk to him. Masato Arakawa and I need to have some fucking words. He has some shit he needs to answer for. Kasuga! Who the hell? You? Why are you in Ijincho? I was just passing through. Passing through my ass. You helped us out in Osaka, I think. You got a name, big guy? How do you know Arakawa-san? My past isn't what's relevant here. Huh? I don't have the luxury of living out in the open anymore. But that gives me access to things most people miss. Like what? Like how Ryo Aoki's next move will be right here in Ijincho. Huh? What's his next move? I was going to tell you that. But not anymore. What? I don't fuck around, man. Just tell me! I can't say I really feel like it. After what I just saw from you. Well, I can't say I'm feeling your tone right now, man. Who fucking died and made you king? <laughs> My tone? You're the one who was beating up a guy who couldn't even fight back anymore. It shouldn't take a king to tell you that was uncalled for. <sighs> what the hell is this next move the young master's gonna make? Spit it out! You're too blind with rage right now to understand it anyway. But I'll give you a chance. Come to Komi Jewel after the sun sets. I'll be waiting. Komi Jewel? Songwi is currently taking measures to restore Komijul's surveillance system. But she doesn't know when exactly it'll be back online. Thank you. <laughs> Crazy how similar you are. Hmm? Pardon me? A few years back, I met a man who looked just like you. But then I saw him die with my own eyes. Oh. Sounds almost like a dream, doesn't it? I don't think so. I'd heard rumors he employed a body double. I take it that's you. Memories, dreams, can either really be trusted? Enough riddles. To become a man's shadow, your body and mind must be united with his for the rest of your life. In turn, a shadow will be born from me someday. A shadow with the same commitment. So you see, Jungi Han is more an immortal entity than he is a man. <laughs> I get it. I don't. Do you know each other or not? We don't. But it's safe to say we share an acquaintance. <laughs> Small damn world, that's for sure. Tell me about it. So what was the thing about going to Komi Jewel? What's over there? Just be there if you care about anything I have to say. It's up to you. So, are you saying you didn't have anything to do with the Serio clan patriarch's death? Of course I didn't. A flat-out denial, huh? What if the public starts to doubt you? <sighs> the public's rumor mill doesn't concern me. So, just to be clear, we won't find any evidence you were involved, and Sawashiro's lips are sealed, because a man in prison never talks. Even though you ordered him to do it, I got all that right. 
Is that how you expect me to interpret this? Yes. And lighten up a bit, will you? You need to understand. I don't want to cause my own police commissioner any undue stress. Well, can't say you're succeeding there. The situation is getting more shaky with every briefing. The whole damn Omi Alliance just fell apart, for goodness sake. Out of nowhere. And it makes me think that you were never really in control of Masumi Arakawa to begin with. Arakawa has already been dealt with. Okay, but wouldn't Sawashiro just take his place? Unless that was yet another miscalculation. I wouldn't ask so many irrelevant questions if I were you. I know you have your concerns, but you need to relax. I have eyes on everything. Do you have eyes on all the Omi and Kamarocho who are now a bunch of unaffiliated, pissed-off thugs? With Arakawa and Sawashiro out of the picture, who's gonna rein them in? I haven't decided yet, but I will. No need to worry. But... That said, I do need to keep my distance from law enforcement right now. Optics and all. I'm sure you understand. So from now on, do not barge in here without my permission ever again, Horinu Uchi-san. It will not be tolerated. Says the guy who barged into national politics without anyone's permission whatsoever. And then made himself party chair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to be consulted on that? Trust me. That wouldn't have changed anything. No one has enough power to stop me. We could have at least given you some advice. Maybe something along the lines of, those who seek power are not worthy of it. <laughs> but you're right. It probably wouldn't have mattered. Bastard ought to learn to respect his governor, huh? You want me to teach him a couple of things before he becomes a problem? <laughs> Don't do anything drastic. He'll ruin my fun. <laughs> Your fun? He's gonna live the rest of his life at my beck and call. <laughs> but he doesn't know it. And I'm savoring every moment of that. Huh, I see. All right. By the way... Kume came up from Ijinsho to beg you for help. He's whining about lack of security on his campaign trail. <laughs> okay, that's my purview. I'll handle it. As for your purview, how's that little task I gave you coming? I already made arrangements in Ijinsho. You won't be able to contact me until it's all over. <laughs> I know a governor's not used to hearing that, but I hope you understand. Ishiura. Sir? You may just have what it takes to be the next chairman of the Omi Alliance. I think I'll make the announcement at the next officer's meeting. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You won't regret it.
いらっしゃいませ。Who's hungry? Me. Me. to hustle. With finesse.
Time to clear the way.
Who's hungry? Me. Me. Sometimes all you need is a little greens. Yeah, I bet grubbing on wild plants really takes you back, huh? This has nothing to do with being homeless. Just thought these were good, okay? Hey, man, it's cool. Anyway, you call this stuff Sanju, right? It's giving me salad vibes. It's like lettuce. Actually, the two are related. Anyway, whenever you're eating Korean food, try wrapping the meat in Sanju. That's how we do it. Okay, then, whatever goes good with Sanju, let's order that. Oh, yeah. Crispy pork and crunchy Sanju. Now there's a match made in heaven. <laughs> I see you've picked the right dish. Congratulations. What can I say? I was inspired. Mm, delicious. Mm. killer was seen over this way. Ah! He's here! Huh? No way. So he's real after all. Yo. Who are you? What are you doing here? You... You gonna get in my way too? Get in your way? What are you talking about? I just want to talk. Get in my way... And you'll pay. Hey, hold up! Damn it! Alright, if it's a fight you want... <laughs> well... Calm down yet? Jeez, you can't just be flinging blood around like that. Blood is fine. But I need more practice. Damn, this guy's a freak. He's not even satisfied with his kill streak. I should call Saito.
Kasuga-san. You said you found the murderer? Yeah, I got him. Oh, I, I can't believe he really exists. We should reveal his face. Hmm? Huh? No freaking way! You're the heir to GA's meats! Wait, meats? Yeah. See that butcher shop there? That's GA's meats. He's the son of the owner. His name's GA. The store's named after him. Supposedly, he's going to inherit the shop one day. What are you doing out here? I'm not a good butcher. Though I was practicing and wanted to be a moon. Oh, yeah. I remember his old man saying something like that. I seem to recall him complaining about how his son makes a bloody mess of the place every time he tries to use his knife. So let me get this straight. He was going out alone in this crazy mask to practice cutting up his meat in peace? Sure seems like it. Next thing you know, somebody takes his picture and he's all over the internet. Well, it might not have been a thing if it weren't for the freaky-ass mask. Does it put you in the mood for slicing or something? Keep the blood off my face. I used to play amateur hockey. Oh, sure. So there wasn't a mass killer after all, huh? Oh man, sorry about that. All that investigation, it turns out it's just some guy from the shopping district. Appreciate you looking into it, though. Why don't you take this for your trouble? Wow, I'm just glad we figured it out. It was nothing but a...